either or, it doesn't matter. Like Steve Smith, this is like, I reckon is a misconception that Smith has thrown out the window and a few others. He hits balls that everyone goes forward to off the back foot. Shot, got your weight into your back foot better there. So you set on your back foot, you actually get up onto your toe. More weight in your back foot, you can actually then transfer back into the ball. Good. When you smacked that cover drive, I reckon your weight was slightly more through it and your top side was in more control. Still, those last two have been good enough. There we go. Beautiful shot. Trigger's looking good. Nice, nice, good transfer. Move that ball as well. Adjust that. I reckon like, that's one of the things. Um, like just playing in like junior cricket, just still trying to think to play straight as possible because if you have that mindset just and just hit the ball better shape as opposed to what like just but like just i don't know yeah just throwing your hands at it yeah yeah just because you got to keep high standards exactly because yeah. if you play like you can you can dominate boys by doing bad habits yeah. you'll go to play second grade and you'll get found out yeah. so you've got to keep that mindset yeah i might sacrifice dominating this slow bowler yeah. but i'm doing it for the bigger picture yeah to keep in good habits yeah. so that when you, when you face good bowlers, you, you can handle them. Because yeah. yeah. that's where like flat track bullies and bigger kids who don't have good techniques, yeah. they can dominate bad bowling, but they get found out as soon as they play good bowling. Yeah. So you just gotta try and keep yourself accountable to your standards, knowing what you know you can face at first yeah. and second grade level. Because yeah. ultimately I think you have gotta be like, your long-term goal is to play all formats for Australia. Your short-term goal should be like a, a under-19 World Cup and Victorian under-19s in the next year. Yeah. Um, and so you've got to be setting yourself up for that standard, not to dominate 16-year-olds. Setup looks good. I think something that when I first saw you, you were quite upright and driving like this with a stiff leg. You, you're definitely bending and transferring into the ball better. Yeah. And when you crunched that cover drive, it was your best weight transfer. Um, some of them you're just a little bit back, but your knee's still bent, so it's gotten better than it was. So just keep trying to really bend that front knee and transfer through the ball. And then back foot, just trying to get a little bit more back and a little bit more weight onto the back foot. When you did it that one time, you were able to punch rather than just sort of like stop the ball. Other than that, it looks good. You're looking in good, good form. Well left. Nice position. Yes! Get, look at the side on view. Yeah, it's beautiful. Heads right over your front knee and you're hitting it late. Beautiful shape. Or left. Yes! Late. But you didn't need to. Like you, I think you did enough to at least get two and probably four on a good ground. You just, you just played it with conviction and control. It wasn't a half volley. I think it was a great shot. Better on your back foot. Better. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And you just, again, it's probably from not having that much really good fast bowling over the years. Yeah, you're tall. You're a big boy. You haven't needed to get right back. So it's just, just getting out of that habit, getting into the habit of actually getting your weight onto your back foot, little bit, tiny bit on that front toe, and then being able to play from here against good fast bowling. Nice shot, boy. Good. Well played. Yes. Have a look at the front on view. No, you played it well, but I just don't think the line, like it's hard to see because of the angle. You didn't need to play at that ball. Yeah. Like that's one you could go, but technically I think it was pretty good. Looking good, Matt. Yeah. 
I think it's important that like you don't just get too caught up in technique. Like everybody does at times, but like with this, we could pick apart everything. Like we've got a side on view and you say, oh, bend more into it. We've got a front on view. So you say, no, it's just trying to be effective. Consistency, consistently effective, which you, you're playing beautifully. Yes, eyes up, eyes up here. Good. Track the ball out of contact. Like watch your head. You're looking down. There, you're down. Track the ball the whole way in and out of contact. Position was excellent. Shot boy. So just look at the side on. If you can get slightly further back, you'll give yourself that extra bit of time and that'll go behind square or to fine leg, you get an easy single. Because you're not really getting back past the crease, it, it's quicker on you and all you can do is block it into mid wicket, no run. Just something to keep working on, getting back. Well played, well played. Better wait on your back foot already. Well done, well done. Really standing on your back foot there, well done. Better. Just more time now. So it can go further back, but even that's better. Just edging back and you're actually getting your weight on your back foot. It's heaps better. Lining them up well. I reckon that's five or six stump. Hundred percent white ball. Maybe you can look to sort of soft hands into cover point or run it down. Red ball. That's definitely a leave early on. Because I've said this a number of times on my content. Like, if I'm a fast bowler and I'm bowling that ball, you know, with it. Exactly. Well, if you're playing at it, even if you middle it, I think I don't have to move because then I can. I'm, I just need to move a little bit and you nick off. Whereas if you let that ball go three balls in a row, four balls in a row, what's the bowler going to do? They're going to come straighter or slightly fuller or shorter, and that's where you want it. So just a couple of good leaves makes them bowl at you. Even if you are nailing it. Good batting. Beautiful shot. We Threw it too early. Tiny slice, but good shot. Shot, mate. Good. Just make sure you're not like spinning too much too early. Picked it up nicely, though. Shot. Yeah. Got your weight onto your back foot there, really good. Yeah. Beautiful. Good, mate. All good. That is elite. What's the difference? And just more committed to it. Ball before you sort of pulled out halfway through and so you, you just didn't fully commit. That one you were fully committed. And then, yeah, like you say, your technique would work. Foot straight lines, head into the ball. Quality. Solid. Very good. A left. Just got to be careful there. Watch the next one front on. Watch the last one. Every now and again. Oh no, it's done. Is that done? Every now and again. Your head, you'll, you'll trigger and your head will keep going and then you'll have to plant too early. When you're playing really well, which has been most balls, you're there and you're still and then you're just reacting. Slightly straighter. Solid, solid. Lots more time there. Okay, you're starting to get behind the crease and your weight's on your back foot. It's much better. Played. Way more time than earlier. Way more control. Good. Good. Uh, Either or, it doesn't matter. Like Steve Smith, this is like 
I reckon is, is a misconception that Smith has thrown out the window and a few others. He hits balls that everyone goes forward to off the back foot. So for me, I reckon it doesn't matter if you go forward or back to any length as long as you commit and you get set and your eyes are still. It's so like you could go forward to a shortish ball and if you sort of, if you just commit forward and you get your eyes still, you can still block it and play it well as long as you don't push at it. And then like Smith, you can go back to a foolish ball. As long as you're set and you're still and your eyes are level, you can either attack it or if you don't push at it and let it come, that's fine. So I reckon you played it really well. Yes, beautiful position. That's where you want them coming. Heads outside it. Where was, where was your what? Yes, exactly right. Yep. And then your right side push through. Your bottom side push through. Yeah, that's elite. Right back on your back foot. And then you can, you can sort of, you go back onto your back foot. And then you can push up onto your toe to get on top of the bounce. Whereas if you're not set on your back foot, you can't do that. If you're like, you can't then go up again. Quality. Good leave. Well done. Don't need to have anything to do with that unless you're attacking it. Solid. Solid. Shot boy. Slightly, like you start slightly closed. Like you start very square for a right arm over to a lefty, and then I reckon you trigger into almost the same position. So you're not closed off, but you're not exactly open to number of lefties have that front foot slightly more open. Not even, not even, you can do it two ways. You can either go like that, or you can just bring that foot back a bit and it stays side on. Yeah. So you could, you could just slightly trigger and slightly leave that front foot more leg side just to keep that access if the ball swings back in. It, it, like I'm not swinging it, so there's no dramas here, but yeah, if the ball's... Maybe that'll keep your, your leg out of the way slightly. And it'll be easier to see on this foot camera when you can slow it right down. Like in real pace, real time, it's quite hard to see. Shot. Played, four runs. That's runs, okay. You sort of went to drive it and held your shape and actually punched it for a few, it's good. Yeah. And this let this front side sort of this front side sort of went and took went this way, so took everything that way. So even though your back foot was okay, you sort of bat slightly came across it because of this front side. Shot. Don't ball there. It's all right. Well done, well done. Lots of time there. Got back nicely. Good. Holding that back foot for longer, but good. Leave that. And well done, well played. Then cool. Played. A little while. Okay, that should come straight. The same as the front foot. You're in an okay position, but you want to be getting that to mid off, getting further across. Runs. Played. Well done, well done, good. Thanks a lot for watching this video. I really appreciate you taking your time out of your busy life to watch this video. I hope you enjoyed it and if you got some value, please subscribe below, hit subscribe to our channel. We, we try and publish some really interesting and valuable content for you guys, so subscribe if you haven't done so already. Check out our next two videos here below. Make sure you subscribe and also turn on post notifications and join the CM community by purchasing some merchandise. Link is in the description below. Thanks, legends. Now go out and get it done.